it's Shelly from TNS Dogs and Dragonfly Farms. Before I get into the video of what we did this weekend, which you probably figured it out, we put our garden in. But if you watch my video on uh, my 300 subscribers, um, you saw me flip up this book of seeds. This is my plan book for my garden. Like everybody else, y'all probably have a box of just seeds. But you don't sit down and just go through your seeds, determine what you're going to do that year. You'll end up with everything in the garden and a lot of stuff you probably won't eat. So I'm just going to show you what I ended up with extra because usually when I plant, I plant either 10 or 5 cells with 2 seeds in each one. So I can t give you an idea with what I did today, or I started with, gosh, back in January, gives you an idea of what really actually worked this year. I'm in zone 9B, so it's really warm here already, but we still get kind of chilly nights. All right, so here is all my tomato plants. These are extras that didn't make it out to the garden. Some of these are chilies also. So you see, I've written down everything that I have extra so I can get rid of it because I don't need all these seeds or all these starts here. They'll just die. Let me get into my book here and I can show you what's going on. Now if you look at my book, the reason, the way I lay it out, let me pull this one out. I started 10 of these, seven of them germinated. So next year, or this fall when I go to throw it in my uh, box and I come across it next year when I'm planning out my garden, I can pull this out and look. Oh, okay, seven of these germinated. So these are pretty good seeds for this area. So I know next year not to plant that many. Same with all my plants. When I planned out what I was gonna get, you see I cut out the ads for them out of the thing because basically you're just you're just putting it together a plan. So that's pretty much how I went through everything. I mean, I do have a tea garden too that I bought a lot of seeds for that. And those I just kind of keep towards the back. These are things I'm starting this year that won't benefit me this year, but next year they will. Same with the rhubarb. I'm not a big fan of kale, but I'm gonna grow it for the chickens. That's one thing, don't buy things you won't buy or eat. Save your money. Buy things like this, put it in your garden. Now these, I started five of these and only one has grown. So I'm kind of a little disappointed with that one, but I will try again before the end of the season. A lot of these are just flowers or herbs. And got tons of echinacea. My borage did really well. Now I moringa, you saw me do a video on that, so you know I've got that. But so that's just an idea of how I lay out my plan for my garden every year. It just it makes it easy. I can pull it out and I know exactly what it is. I mean, I've got things written on tags, but that really doesn't tell me in a glimpse what it is. So I'm going to get to the video and you'll get to see how the garden turned out. Okay, it is a beautiful spring morning. My chickens are putting their final touches on tearing up and moving stuff around in the garden. We're getting ready to till this afternoon. We do the till method of gardening. It works best for us. After being here for, this is now our fourth year at this residency. So we've kind of learned along the way what works and what doesn't. So two weeks ago, we got some manure and we threw it down. It's been sitting on top of this. Um, we have a fire pit, so everything that we put in the fire pit, we make sure when we put things in the fire pit that they have no nails and it's no plastic. It's just everything that we've cut, cut down off our trees, basically just extra brush. And we burn that up and then I've got little piles of that 
all through here. So it will get tilled into the garden today. Along with, um, I'm going to throw a little bit of calcium down because last year was the first year that we've had problems with uh, what they call blossom rot. So we'll be tilling that in. So I'm gonna bring you along with us all throughout the day of what we're doing. So now it's time to get these things in the ground. At least there's one positive thing that all this shut down. Although I still got to go to work since I'm in the medical field. Chilies, my bell peppers, they're all laid out. Got my cucumbers in and my tiger melons. And the garden. Now we're digging trenches. Basically, this is our walkways. And the mounds are where all the vegetables and stuff will be. We have a drip line that we're going to sit on top of all this. Having fun, honey? We finally got everything in. All my tomatoes are all in. They're all labeled. So I can keep track of what I got. These over here, there's nothing in them yet. I'm gonna have corn on the far one, popcorn on the next one, and then green beans and peas on that one. Broccoli and cauliflower all the way down through here. And then all my yellow squash over there. And I have zinnias and everything all sitting out here in this, amidst all this. And some echinacea, some borage. And then our beehive will go over there once we get the bees here. And that's in a few weeks. So there's chilies, bell peppers of all kinds, cucumbers which will go over this arch and melons, just small melons so they won't pull the arch down and some more chilies and bell peppers and jalapenos. But everything looks super nice. Can't wait for it all to get big. Got my loofah, my marshmallow, my asparagus. Of course, I won't get anything on that this year, but get a head start on for next year. I also did start some rhubarb from seed. Once again, it may not be ready this year, but I have a head start for next. Thornless blackberries, thornless raspberries, all doing very well. All right, so I did want to mention as I was planting these each one of these had like a set of little leaves down here. I want to get ahead and just kind of nip those off. So it'll force the plants to grow and not put any energy in those lower leaves. So now we're just putting the final touches on our drip line. You're just poking holes and pushing those in. So each plant gets a little water, not a lot of water, just a little.
This is only the beginning. Can't wait to see what the summer brings.